Oh, I know. We'll get the music up. He's on his way in, and I got to get something else going here because I just made a mistake on the frequency we're going to be on. He'll be with us. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is Chuck Aaron and the Red Bull helicopter. Hey, Chuck, what's the matter? You rolled it over on its back. I'm sorry, I see it. I lost a little bit of control, but I'm, I'm trying to get it back right now. I think I'll be all right, though. I tell you what, partner, that's pretty amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the only person in all of North America approved by the FAA to do aerobatics in a helicopter. That's something you won't see every day. Hey, Chuck, you're doing great. Thank <laughs> you, Rob. I've had a lot of fun out here, and I want to thank everybody that came out to Andrews and invited us to come out here for the Red Bull. just want to say thank you from Red Bull, everyone. Chuck Aaron has more than 20,000 hours of flight time. And he's flying this B0105 Bull Cow helicopter that he calls the Bull Cow. Hey, you know, this is a Bull Cow that's not your mother's or, or your uncle's Bull Cow, is it? No, it's not. It's, uh, we specially made it just for us and, and uh, just to do aerobatics. And uh, we don't advise this anybody else to the fleet. You know, there's some things about this helicopter that make it more suitable than others, including that solid titanium uh, rotor head and the rigid rotor system. But uh, wh why on earth did you get involved in trying to fly helicopter aerobatics? Why on earth did I do what, Rob? Why did you want to fly aerobatics? Oh, because I had a couple of screws loose. Red Bull knew it, and they asked me if I could do it. And I said, well, I'll figure out a way. And here you go. That's what I did. I gotta tell you, buddy, it's pretty impressive stuff. But you not only fly them, you build them, right? Yes, sir. I built three Cobra helicopters from scratch, too. Now, wait a minute. That's Bell's attack helicopter. What's a civilian doing building an attack helicopter? Oh, I just, I just built them for the, uh, the use in the movies. So it's, it's not real Cobras, but I mean, the real Cobras are that armament. Okay. What did the Army say when you did that? They were not happy, but uh, I told them I just needed it for the movies, and they got over it. Okay. Hey, you know, Chuck, occasionally people think that this is a recorded conversation and that you're not really in the airplane talking live. Yeah, okay. Let's do this live, then. I'm going to go, go forward like this. I'm going to do a pedal turn all the way around. Face this way, and I want, I'll do a backflip for you. Here you go. There you go. That's why. I'm, yeah, baby, come on now. <laughs> okay, folks, what do you want Chuck to do? They said forward flip. Oh, they're not wanting much, are they? <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you stop and do me a pedal turn? Good idea. I'll just say, I'll give everybody a bow. That sounds good to me. Ladies and A, hey, by the way, you come from a long line of great Air Force people. Yes, sir, I do. My, uh, my father's in Air Force for 30 years, and I'm Air Force president, and I loved every minute of it. But I got to make a quick shout out here to the Navy. I love the Navy. They're cool, too. They're, they're way cool. They are indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, wave at Chuck. Wave at him. They're waving, buddy. It's your turn for the bow. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming to Andrews, and thank you for inviting Red Bull. We appreciate it very much. Red Bull gives you wings, Chuck Aaron, and congratulations on winning the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award after only three years in our business. Thank you, sir. Give it up for Chuck Aaron. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Thank you, partner. You've done great. Now, look high overhead. Because the Red Bull Air Force is in position with Sean McCormick. Jeff Provenzano and Travis Finagi getting ready. Come overhead. We've got jumpers away, all three. Now watch them as Kirby Chambliss flying with him is going to make a barber pole spiral around these three jumpers who are flying in formation wearing very, very specialized wing suits. They are very much like Rocky the Flying Squirrel.
Kirby Chambliss now in a flat spin, falling earthward at about 4,000 feet a minute. Quickly recovers and goes into maximum performance. Ayla rolls to the right and to the left. He'll step out to the side as we watch the three remaining jumpers. Sean, Jeff, and Travis as they work their way down in these very, very small and maneuverable Red Bull Ram Air Canopies. These guys fly extreme stuff. On a day when they go up to altitudes of up to 9,000 feet, they will fly in formation with their smoke and circle around one another. Now watch them as they work their way down. And when they get closer, Andrews, I want you to make a bunch of noise because they'll be able to hear you as they get ready to land. They will land very fast. With only about 85 square feet of canopy area, their forward speed is really up there. Doing the wind penetration check. All right, Andrews. Make some noise, they're on their way in. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sean McCormick, Jeff Provenzano, and Travis Fanaghi. Three guys in and right on target. Climbing straight up down to 2,500 feet above the ground, doing an eight-point hesitation roll on the upline is Red Bull pilot Kirby Chambliss. He'll pick up speed on his way down, go into a flat spin, one turn, two turn, three turn, a quick recovery reverses. Snap rolls on the down line, continuing to come downward at an alarming rate and as he gets to 500 feet, he'll pull back on that stick, experiencing 17. Point rolls, and he pulls up. The cloud-filled sky overhead gets great contrast. We can see him as he now tumbles the airplane, going into a knife-edge tumble with the right wing out in front. There's two, there's three, there's four, and a quick recovery. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give it up for Red Bull pilot Kirby Chambliss. On the left-hand side of the aerobatic box, a 9G pull to straight up point rolls to the right and to the left. The gentleman you're seeing flying is one of the best aero aerobatic pilots in the world today. If anybody gives you wings, it's Red Bull and Kirby Chambers. He's earned virtually every aviation license possible, flown more than 70 types of aircraft, and has accumulated over 26,000 hours of flight time in his career. That's three years in the air. swap ends. He'll point the nose back down after he completes this torque roll, backing it up, hanging it on the prop, going backwards. 300 feet, 400 feet, and there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, he backed it up like a school bus. Can you believe that stuff? What a performance. His gyroscopic maneuvers subject him to forces spanning a radical 18 times the force of gravity from plus 10 G's to minus 8 G's. This guy's in better physical shape than most other people in any other kind of sport. Pulls back on the stick, stops the airplane in midair, turns it into a helicopter, and flips it right on its back for a mini loop. As he'll mush out of it, watch him come forward and start to roll. Adjusting his speed and increasing the roll rate, he accelerates with a roll rate that reaches 400 dizzying degrees each and every second. He sees a lot of gray, green, gray, green, gray, green, gray, green when he does that. 
climbing for altitude. He'll switch that altitude to energy as he dives on the way down. Knife edge flight with a rolls back and forth. 230 miles per hour. There's a 10 G full where he weighs 10 times his normal body weight. Watch for the tumble. A tail over nose tumble. Two and three. Just stops at a two and a half. Goes into a flat spin with one turn. A quick recovery. Snap roll to the right. A pull. Hard 10G pull. A very, very tight turn. Watch him slow it down and skid sideways. Almost 90 degrees sideways. Look at that. How about that? I want to hear your applause for Kuvi. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> I've never seen anybody else do that. I mean, he was just sliding sideways. Talk about control. Talk about perfection. You're seeing it right here. Snap roll once and twice on the down line. A quick aileron roll to the left. He'll dive to show center. Level off 20 feet above the ground. Up 45 degrees. A roll to the left. A snap roll to the outside. Turns it into a tumble and stops the airplane almost in midair. Watch him start the roll rate increasing again. You and I would be losing our lunch right about now, folks. I gotta tell you, I wish I had my mother-in-law up there right now. has an attached hangar. He flew for the commercial airlines and he was the youngest pilot at Southwest and became their youngest captain. The airplane he's flying is the American-built Zivco Edge 540. Technically, it's a one-seat, unlimited-class aircraft designed for aeronautics. But Kirby says it's just a rocket with wings. And I agree with that. It's stripped down like a race car for maximum performance. Very lightweight, and the top speed at air shows is about 230 miles per hour. With a Lycoming AEIO 540 cubic inch motor and a steel tube fuselage, it's surrounded by a composite shell and wings. Watch from the right, very low. Watch for the Cobra. He'll pull it straight up. Let's look for the slip again, see if, no, he's not going to run it sideways for us, he's going to take it straight up. One roll, two vertical rolls, three vertical, two and three quarter vertical rolls, he'll stop it, push to the outside, flip it over on its back. A reverse Cobra straight down with the aileron roll. I love watching this guy fly. Red Bull gives you wings. Gravity will win here, but Kirby's going to fight it.
Despite the stresses Kirby's plane endures, it's designed to be taken apart in a flash. The wings can come off to ship the plane in the front end of a 747. You can keep up with Kirby on the web at teamchambliss.com or check him out on Twitter as well at, at Kirby Chambliss. And I believe he's going to be bringing it into land very shortly, but let's keep your eyes. We might get something special here in the remaining moments of his performance. He's staying low, just 10 feet off the deck, accelerating now and decelerating. He's going to slow it down. Wave everybody. He can look at you now. Points it into the wind and flies the fuselage. A lot of thrust from that Lycoming engine. An incredible skill as Kirby flies lower and slower. Dragging that tailwheel just five feet off the ground. How about that? And our air boss, Wayne Boggs, has just given him clearance to land. <laughs> and he's still rolling the airplane around. This guy's having way too much fun. Now watch him cross control it on the far runway. A lot of left aileron, right stick. Just before he touches down, he'll straighten it out. Put the two main landing gear on the ground and then let the airspeed bleed off and the tail wheel will then come down. He'll taxi by us here in just a few minutes. But ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed the Red Bull Aviation Team, this once in a lifetime opportunity.